Hey everybody, welcome back to the Serpentarium. It's your boy Dave, we're back live at Delmarva Exotics. It's another week, we're doing a quick video update because we got some exciting news that we gotta get out there and shed out to the world. Yesterday was our post ovulation shed of our female moon glow boa eclipse. So with that being said, that means we can now estimate and predict the time of her clutch or litter that's gonna be born. So without further ado, yesterday, February the 10th, so therefore it is going to be estimated between May 20th and June 13th before she drops that litter. So about 105 to 120 days plus or minus a couple of days or so. And we should be able to see if we can get anything successful out of that pairing between our moon glow and our slow. Now, if everything goes out the way it's supposed to, we should end up getting a bunch of moon glows and a bunch of snows. Now, the cool part about this is, is when Eclipse was sold to us, she was sold to us as a possible super. So we're gonna end up being able to prove out if she's super or not. If she's not super, we'll get a bunch of moon glows and a bunch of snows. If she is super, everything in that litter should come out to be a moon glow. So, that being said, we're gonna get some cages cleaned up and get to it and show the moon glow and her bright, bright, white, fresh set of Boom. Paint. There she is, folks. Here's Miss Eclipse. One day post ovulation shed. Female moon glow boa. She was bred to our snow boa. And there she is looking all pretty. Showing off that high white contrast. Get those colors to come in. Beautiful boa. You little. Sitting on her hot side, we got her temperature set at about 92.6 degrees. She just moved over here. She's been sitting on her cool side majority of the day. But there she is. Beautiful boa constrictor. Just like I said, when you got big snakes, sometimes you got to do to do. And then we got Onyx cleaned out. Now we got to get Titan, who is our snow boa, the one that is we bred to our eclipse, our moon glow boa, the father of the litter that's to be. We got to get him cleaned out because he left us a nice little present. And we're going to show you guys what that looks like. So let's get in there and clean out them spicy meatballs. Just like I was saying, when you're dealing with big snakes, you deal with big shits. So. There's the big shit that we gotta get out of his cage. And there's Titan, our snow boa sitting up there, looking all mischievous and relaxed, fresh shed on him. And you know, he's tickled to death what he done did. So we're gonna get in here and get these guys cleaned up. Nice big snake shit. All right, guys, that's all I got for you for this week. Quick little video update, clean some snakes out. Showed you guys them spicy meatballs from the bigger snakes. What that ends up like, the experience, and what that looks like, big old spicy sausages they leave behind. 
we got Onyx cleaned out. We did that in fast speed. So, until next time, you guys, y'all be safe. And as always, one exotic.